Chris in Huntsville, Alabama. Why do I know Huntsville? Isn't that where NASA has something? I think that sounds right. Hey, Paul, uh, currently I am streaming music through my Samsung TV directly connected to my Denon receiver with an optical cable. Okay. Would it benefit me to connect an external DAC between the two to get better audio quality, or would you recommend a different type of hookup altogether? Thank you for all the years of advice you have given us. Sure. Um, I think the optical cable is probably, I, I doubt you're doing high resolution audio through your Samsung TV. So I think the optical cable is probably the best way to go. You could do it through HDMI. Now HDMI is, is, is the, you know, the, the, what is it, high definition multimedia interface. It, it carries digital signals through that. However, most DACs of any quality don't really have HDMI. Very few. I think Bryston, Bryston might have one, and it's a good quality DAC. Um, so you might look into HDMI as an alternative, but I think generally speaking, most of the DACs you're going to want to use for something like this, if you decide to go with an external DAC, are going to have an optical input, and uh, that is just a, a, a fine input. Now, should you use an external DAC rather than the one in your Denon? Hard to say. My gut reaction is absolutely. And the reason is that I don't have a great deal of trust in off-the-shelf receivers and integrateds for consumer audio. In my experience, and I'm, I'm not going to criticize Denon or Pioneer or Sony or anything else here, but I'm going to generalize. <laughs> He's generalizing again. I'm going to generalize because over the years, and I've done this for a lot of years, I rarely ever find a consumer audio, go down to Best Buy, pick it up, you know, $200 DAC, or, or, or sorry, receiver, that has all the bells and whistles built into it. Uh, that's anything extraordinary. That is anything other than just good enough. And I don't know what you paid for your receiver, but consider that the average receiver that I see people using uh, costs between $300 and $1,000. And look what they pack into those things. You've got between 5 and 10, 12 channels of amplification. You've got a DAC. You've got a surround processor. You've got a power supply, a chassis, uh, remote control. I mean, all of that stuff is crammed into this box at a very low cost, probably around the same cost as, say, one of our little sprouts. Now, yeah, I understand the economies of scale. Pioneer, Denon, they produce, I guess, hundreds of thousands of these things, maybe millions, I don't know. So yeah, prices goes down. When we produce hundreds of something, prices go up, but not that much. So. In general, a consumer purchased receiver or integrated amplifier has internal components and systems that are good enough, good enough to fit the bill of what most people want. But if you're an audiophile, if you're somebody like me that wants really great sound out of it, then definitely. Put your money out for a decent DAC. And, and there are DACs out there that are hundreds of dollars to a few thousand dollars that sound terrific and would probably blow the socks off of your Denon. Just a guess. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.